What's up everybody? Uh, tonight we're gonna do just a normal shave because why not? Um, one of the groups is doing a show me some love event. I'm sure you've seen hashtags and all in the groups. And the soap I'm using is Barristone Man's 42. This was not from last year's release. This was from the year before that. So 2018, I think is when I got this. Um, I actually picked this up on one of my trips to New York. Uh, so I got it at past doors. You can't see the uh, price tag on the bottom because I got wet. But one thing I didn't do is I didn't get the aftershave because I was in New York for work and flying home and I was still really, really new into wet shaving. This is like my second artisan soap ever. Um, I didn't want to break the bottle. So, I didn't get the aftershave. Regret it, because the scent is phenomenal. If you've never tried uh, 42, it is um, petunias, ambergris, tea, and pangalactic garble. What is it? Gargle blaster. I always get that. The flow next. If you haven't seen the movie, read the books, you won't get that last one. And I feel bad for you. The uh, brush I'm using tonight is the Peregrino from PAA, I just got this in this week. I uh, really trying to test this out in bowl lathering and face lathering and loading off the puck because it's a really soft knot. Really soft knot, but it has a decent backbone too. It reminds me a little bit of the Duro knot, which is phenomenal. trying something, or I've been doing something a little bit past, Let's see, Beard's goatee's only two weeks old. But um, every once in a while, I'll take a good soap like Bear's from Man when I'm shaving, and I'll just make sure I get the goatee, kind of soften the hairs up a little bit, and make it a little bit more manageable, because I don't have beard oils or anything like that. I never get my beard long enough to do anything with it. The towel this evening is uh, PAA's shave towel uh, from the Big Shave Swest 2020, the event that never was, uh, swag bag. So thought I'd be thought I'd use that a little bit, and then uh, going with the Kai with a pink or mild blade. I've used this a few times. I've actually ordered one. Um, thanks, Harry Wong. This will be coming back to you shortly. He enabled me very, very well to get one of my own. I don't regret it. It's a fantastic razor. And then, of course, you know, I posted it and someone like, oh, some of my friends posted, oh, zero willpower. Like, I have willpower. I got the Kai, not the Feather. Because if I had, if I didn't have willpower, I got the Feather DX. But I got the Kai instead. Mostly because of cost. That and I found the listing for a really good price that included a tuck of blades. And I was talking to a friend of mine and I, he showed me a, a listing and I was like, oh man, that has the, the ProGuard on there. I like the ProGuard blades. Those make it just so you can just use it really easily. I mean, you can still cut yourself, but. Make it so you can just kind of go a little bit quicker. On your shaves. And I have just an open blade. So 
So I might try one of those. Oh, I have one. One came with this for me to try. I need to get a pack. There was a list and they had that pack in. I was like, crap! Same seller. So I measured him, of course, and he ended up... He's like, oh, I would, I would, but uh, yours has already been shipped. Sorry, I can't accommodate the swap. It's like, yeah, well, it happens. So I'm gonna have another tuck of 20. Kai pink mild blades. Which is fine, and they work pretty well in here. They work in my IBC. Jimmy that for a while. She used the IBC. That wasn't bad. Oh, Scheiße. Scheiße. I didn't want to do that. Verdammt. I've been bescheuert. Talking to Johan over at Shaven Butcher, and he swore, I think he said some of the swearing in Swedish, and I commented, if I had to swear on the video, I'd do it in German, and verdammt. Yep, that, that's what it sounds like, Johan. At least for me, an American speaking German. Granted, they lived there for a couple of years. Oh, scheiße. Gotta finish it up now, right? I can't believe I did that. <sighs> nah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Son of a... This was two weeks old. Hadn't trimmed it or anything, it was just straight up two weeks. Gosh dang it all. Actually, haven't never done this with the Kai. Look at that. It's coming off beautifully though. I don't know what use blade this is. Initially I was growing the goatee out because I had a little cut right here from a shave. But that's kind of healed, I think. Has to get that clean. Son of a. <sighs> oh, well. It's clogging up the razor faster than it normally does. of hair growth gone. Luckily it's only two weeks. I 
Uh, oh, I missed that spot. I was a hard time right here. Now we get another passes. There. Like I said, I've been putting the cream on my goatee to um, just you know, make the hairs softer. <laughs> We watched Dave Carr's this video, we did four passes because he lost track. I kind of wasn't paying attention apparently and decided I need to shove off my goatee. Hopefully I'm still okay with that. We shall see when I'm done. And it was just to the point where they're really nice, lengthwise. Also, where I needed to trim it. <sighs> Man. Oh well. So, uh, I don't know if you've seen a couple of, like, Jim Co or Kim Co <laughs> just did his uh, blindfold shave challenge today and uploaded it. Um, I've been tagged in that as well. I'll be doing that maybe this weekend. I've also been tagged in the Second Chance Challenge. I was tagged by Josh over at Shooting the Shave for the Blindfold Challenge, and then over then Glenn Helly tagged me in the uh, Second Chance Shave Challenge. So I gotta figure out the use for that. Cause I, like a lot of people, I don't keep around. A lot of stuff I don't like. Just give a good friend of mine all my bunch of blades. Some that do work for me, some that don't. He's uh, just starting off in his wet shaving journey. And he, uh, is a, a an airline pilot. His airline folded. So he's not working right now. Figured he could use some new gear. I just had a few things lying around and gave that to him not too long ago. Smooth. Allergies are kicking my butt. I can't breathe. Super stuffed up. <sighs> All right, next, not bad. Ah, <sighs> man. 
Anyway. This past few have been a little interesting at work. So I'm nervous about my work days. Around 7 a.m. my time. And I'm done by about 3. You know, I'll put in my 8 hours. Don't take a lunch. Sometimes I work a little bit later. I'll be careful this is how I cut myself the first time with my IBC. But uh, I've been helping some pilot, we're doing a remote pilot for a facility in Montana. So I've been working in mountain time, which is very odd. Because I'm still getting up at enough time to get in my office by 7. I don't start until like 9, 9.30 sometimes. Well, maybe 8.30 if I have a call beforehand. And then we meet with the facility, you know, the customers until 5. I need to be available until 5. Then you have an internal call afterwards at 5 o'clock that goes until 5.30, 6. I'm finally off work, but it's like, I'm working until 6 o'clock, which I do on the road, but... I'm on the road, not home. I'm done at 3, 3, 3.30 at home. It's, it's been interesting. I'm just glad I'm able to work. But it makes dinner and all that interesting because, you know, you get off work and then you have dinner and then you take the dog for a walk and you get back and you can play for a couple of minutes outside and it's, hey, time to go ahead and read for bed and yeah, your day's gone. I don't have people with this on a normal basis. Yeah, it's working until 5, not getting, or working until 5, 5.30, sometimes 6. Luckily, I don't have a commute. That'd be even worse. sure this razor would do on this area, or how I would do with this razor on these various areas on my face because I haven't done them with it yet. Shabby. That goes good. So I'm just going to work in the bowl for a little bit. Don't really need you. I'm just going to clean up, do my third pass like I do normally on my Chevette's shaves. Third pass, cheeks, and now chin, and mustache. Against the green pass. Can't really go across. 
So, up to two passes on the neck than any cleanup was needed. And I apologize, this is a little longer than I anticipated because of this. Sorry. Lighting is weird. I don't know how to do the auto light thing on my phone. So I apologize for that as well. These blades are not bad, but they're just not... I feel like the, the uh, ProGuard blades are sharper. And the milds, and they're both mild blades. I gotta remember how to get used to all this stuff again. I'm just gonna need a few more passes to get this stuff off and clean up. But it's not bad, so it's performing very well. Again, I don't know why I don't use Bear's Tremans 42 more often. I love the scent. It is sure is not in the Excelsior base. But the performance is phenomenal. Absolutely spectacular. Of course, the Excelsior bases are of this world. I have terror in Excelsior. And that performs exceptionally well. Love, love that base and soap. I think I'm talking too much. I'm starting to sweat. And the soap's drying out. Uh, I can't do it that way. No, it's not that again. Not yet. Uh, you know what? I haven't done this for a while with a Chevette, obviously. But we'll try to take some tips off of Mati and Frank and Johan and Dave Card.
All absolutely phenomenal. Straight razor and chivet shavers. That needs to be done again, I think. But let's see. We'll get that finished in a second. Just a little bit right here. There we go. And see if we can go there. Just a little bit more right here on the chin. Thomas Roy style hold there. You gotta give it Yeah, that's not bad. Hmm, that's gonna be nice and close. Dang. It's actually pretty dang close right there. Seriously, this is fantastic. Here you can see, just took that off. Just a little troll spot right there that I can never get with no matter what razor I use. that be back. Maybe a little bit right there. Oh, there we go. Not bad. All right, so definitely a fantastic razor. Took off the goatee, two weeks growth, no problems whatsoever. With a, I think it's a third use, Kai Mild Pink, Captain Pink Mild, whatever you want to call it. With Barrister Man's 42, uh, 42. Don't know what basis it is, a couple years old. With the uh, Peregrino from PAA. With the Bin My Copper Captain's Choice Bowl. A quick rinse. 
Adding the rinses, just smooth. No blood. No cuts. That was fantastic. I know it's, it's a close shave. I can fill it just with the water. Alan would give me a good amount of feedback. Why don't you go finish off some theirs? Don't have the don't have the aftershave like I mentioned before, which I highly regret not getting. So after just some theirs. This is the lavender. Oh, phenomenal stuff there. And oh, that'll, that'll do. Now, if you've stuck around this long, one, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, and two, this was kind of planned. <laughs> um, because I was tagged in the uh, blindfold shave challenge by Josh, and I shoot in the shave, and uh, Jim Combs did his today, and he managed to keep his mustache nice and clean. Uh, I don't know if I could do that with my goatee lined up here. Bottom would be no problem, but the here would be where I have concerns. So I, I took it off to make that challenge slightly easier because it's already gonna be a bugger. Uh, and then I'll probably start going it back because I'm not seeing anybody, so who cares if I had a little bit of scruff, right? Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, Barristone Man 42, when it comes out again this year, hopefully it does, definitely check it out. It's a very wonderful floral scent. The Kai Captain is a phenomenal AC razor. I'm not gonna show that. AC, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the Peregrino really impresses me. Uh, the knot is nice and soft, but it still has a backbone. I actually loaded from the tub and uh, bowl lathered with it just because I wanted to save time getting this going to be longer anyway. Uh, definitely a good brush. I highly recommend it if you're in, if you are looking for a good budget or low priced, well performing brush. Peregrino. And that was whipped up in my copper Captain Choice bowl. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I will probably be doing the blindfold shave challenge maybe this weekend, first part of next week, we'll see. And then I gotta do that um, second second chance shave challenge as well. So both of those are coming and I have a few people I will tag in each. So again, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll catch you all on the flip side.